hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel this is hadidi makeover so for today we are going to be doing the photography makeup tutorial something suitable for photography this makeup is going to be very heavy so if you are new here please don't forget to like subscribe and share if you're a returning subscriber you will come back so let's jump right into the video so starting off i'm going to be starting off by cleaning her face using the micellar cleansing water and um, after cleaning her face you guys know we are hydrating her skin as we clean her face we are hydrating as well as toning her skin just to give us the right feel we want for her skin type okay so she has oily skin not really oily but she has oily skin just on her t-zone i'm going to be starting off with the moisturizer and then going in with the stay matte um Rimmel London Stay Matte Primer and then I'll finish up with the Pond Face Mattifier and um yeah that's it guys so starting off I'm going to be using a wet beauty blender I'm going to be applying the moisturizer first I'm going to be concentrating more under her eyes this makeup right here is a photography makeup look so we want it to be a little bit heavy something that will go with um um, some photography suitable makeup share so um, I want to make sure the skin work is well prepped like her skin is well prepped before we start the skin work I just applied the moisturizer first then I'm going in with the Rimmel London stay matte I'm applying it everywhere except for under her eyes so then the last one i'm applying now is the Ponds face mattifier i'm concentrating more on her t-zone the area where it tends to get oily when her skin gets oily so <laughs> let's move on and um yeah guys last week i couldn't post a video because i was very very sick i think i had um it was due to stress i was like too stressed and um, from malaria to typhoid and then we discovered it was low um, blood sugar i don't know how to pronounce the name of that thing there but sure yeah i was very sick for like a week i had to take a week off and um let's <laughs> continue the video let's move on into the video so as you can see her neck is lighter than her face and um, i told you guys we want this makeup to be a photography suitable makeup look we want to make sure we cover all the imperfections on her skin she has color discoloration on her face um some part of her face is dark and some is just very light so i'm using a yellow undertone foundation something very yellow on her face on her skin because i want the skin to be i want the skin work to be perfect so that it will be a picture perfect foundation finish i used the i think i can't remember the foundation i was using here i think it's the califa foundation or oh, is it fenty beauty let me see <laughs> okay so as i was applying this foundation if i i'll just drop the name of the foundation on insta on the description box for you guys to see um yeah so let's move on i'm actually blending her face using the beauty blender i used before so can you see her face is a picture perfect look now she has a picture of perfect skin now so i'm going to be concentrating on the highlight as i said earlier we are doing the um, photography makeup look we want the face to be picture perfect so i'm going to be applying a very light shade of concealer for her highlights you want everything to pop clearly this makeup is going to be heavy not heavy in the sense that we are going to be packing everything on her face layer upon layers so no like we want everything to be detailed very detailed picture perfect detailed want to cover all the imperfections all the spots and everything so as you can see our face started getting dry when we were blending the highlight her face started getting dry so to avoid how her skin is getting dry i'm going to be spraying her skin after i'm done blending i'm going to be spraying with a certain spray just to hydrate the skin again 
it and the foundation will just sit in perfectly into her skin can you see how her skin tone is just changing like the shade of her skin is changing because we want to achieve a picture perfect skin work because we are concentrating more on the skin as we said this is a photography makeup look so we want to achieve a zero 100 percent sorry a 100 percent skin flawless skin so i'm just going to be blending everywhere smoothly want to make sure we get that perfect shape or perfect shade so we are done with the highlight next i'm going to be using the classic makeup concealer in the shade Co chocolate to do her contour the face contour i will be applying this on the side of her nose the hollows of her cheeks on her jawline and then maybe a little bit on the forehead guys i told you this makeup i want to achieve a picture perfect foundation make um foundation skin work so this is just about it so i'm going to be blending that out gently you guys should be careful when you blend your um concealer if you guys have been watching my videos this is where i tend to get scared i always get shaky hands when i come to contouring of the nose or contouring face contouring in general so as you can see i have been practicing more so whatever you do in this life once you want to achieve what you want to achieve you get there so i just kept blending and blending and practicing and practicing and then boom i'm no more scared of i am no more scared of um what's it called contouring again like the liquid contour part so as you can see after i finished blending at the contour i sprayed her face with a certain spray just to give me that little hydration i wanted the face just keeps getting dry you know we mattified her skin too much that the face started getting dry so i just sprayed certain spray just to hydrate the skin a little bit and then i moved on to do the liquid blush i'm using the v beauty lip stain in be my vow to do the lip color to the sorry to do the blush i just applied just single single drops just little little bit of a drop like that oh, not like a drop okay i just applied a little bit on her cheeks and then i'm just blending that with the beauty blender so as you guys can see i am done with the blending want to make sure everything sits perfectly so guys as i said earlier we talked about the picture perfect thing i'm going to be highlighting her face again just to achieve that very flawless picture perfect skin work and um, the highlights the contour we want everything to come out very well so i'm going to be highlighting again just to balance everything out smoothly so if you guys are enjoying this video please don't forget to share don't forget to tell your friends to subscribe to like and thank you guys for 21,000 subscribers guys thank you so much i have been sick i haven't been keeping up with my videos i don't even check how many subscribers i have again not that i i don't care i do care but i've been sick i don't even go on youtube again and all that but now i am back fully alhamdulillah i want you guys to keep praying for me so that i'll keep dropping content more and more here on youtube so yeah so i'm going to be after blending that out i'm going to be setting under the eyes using her shade of powder from the v beauty powder palette then i'll set my highlight very well then move on to apply setting powder i'm going to be using the s setting powder 
i'm just going to be applying that under her eyes the bridge of her nose her chin or a cupid bow and then on her forehead So after I'm done with that, I'm going to be setting the whole face using her shade of powder for the outer part of her face. Guys, the makeup is looking heavy. Don't worry. This is how we want to achieve. Like this is what we are after. We want to achieve a picture perfect foundation. If you're just joining us here for today, you can check out other videos on how to achieve all this so <laughs> this is a picture perfect makeup look okay so pardon my model there's a mirror in front of her she keeps going over to look at the mirror i don't know why she was doing that but uh, <laughs> but yeah so after that i'm going to be doing a reverse contour just to give me i want the i want the real contour to come out very well like the contouring i did i want it to be very obvious so i decided to do a reverse contour using a setting powder then we we'll move on to the brows i'm going to be brushing the hair upward and then using my davis brow pencil i'm going to be outlining the outer part of her brows making sure i get it straight So following the natural shape of her brows, I'm going to be outlining that. You want to make sure you outline the outer part of the brows smoothly. You want to achieve a very sharp line. You don't want to be, you want the line effect to be very flawless because you already did your skin work. So if you had not done your skin work, you can draw it anyhow, not anyhow, but you can shall draw it, make mistakes and you can clean. But since there is skin work, you have to perfect the way you draw your eyebrows because there is no chance for you to make corrections or clean because of the foundation is already there. So, yeah. So after that, I'm going to be brushing that out with the brow tint and then moving on i'm using the ferrarucci concealer palette to clean her eyebrows i'm using a very light shade for her brow bone then i'll use a little bit like the shade in fun a little bit darker than her skin not really darker than her skin something close to her skin tone i'm going to be using that to do the outer and the inner part of her brows and also the upper part of her brows i'll be using her shade of foundation so let's see how this comes out i hope you guys are understanding what i am doing if you don't just hit me up on the comment section or rather you can follow me up on instagram check out my stories i just um i do post tips on my instagram stories if you are going to be following me there you should try please and also on facebook hadidi makeovers instagram hadidi makeovers and um, if you want my whatsapp number you can go on instagram my number is there so that you guys will want to if you want to buy raw silk if you want to order for your raw silk materials the materials i use to do my turban with if you guys want to order for that you can just easily send me a dm via whatsapp or dm via instagram i'm going to be replying you guys or rather you can send me an email my address all is going to be on the description box if you guys want to contact me you can send me a dm via the, um, instagram or <laughs> email or whatsapp or whatever my number is going to be there so as you can see i am cleaning the upper part of the brows using her shade of concealer the one i used for the inner and the outer part of the brows so I'm going to be making sure I blend that out smoothly. You have to be careful. You don't want to drag the concealer. If you drag the concealer, it's going to drag your foundation and your skin work will end up being dragged. <laughs> so let's move on to the eyes. Before I apply the eye primer, the concealer is already there. I blended that out smoothly. Then I'm using the shade, the Zekel Eyeshadow in Lydia Stanley. I'm using a very deep 
purple color is this deep purple or maroon i can't remember but sha i know it's purple so i'm going to be using this shade to do her transitioning and then using a fluffy brush i'm going to be using a burnt orange color to blend that out you want to make sure you blend out your transitioning very well if your transitioning is darker you bring it upwards lighter because you know that is what you want to achieve like the transition itself if it's darker you want to make sure you blend it out smoothly so that it becomes lighter you smoke it out that is how it works so after that i'm going to be applying powder on her brow bone just to achieve that little like that highlighted part of her brows you want to set that concealer part you know there's concealer there already so you want to set it with powder you don't want to leave it like that so that it doesn't get smudged off or anything like that so as you can see can you see how smoothly um blended the eyes are so i'm going to be moving on using the ben Nye clan white eye primer I'll be applying that on her crease. This is not a cut crease look. I don't know whether we ended up doing a cut crease look, Sha. But this is Sha. I do just applied it on her crease. And then later on followed the line so that the detail will come out very well. I think this is a cut crease. Yeah, it is a cut crease. So I'm going to be using my eyeshadow from the Urban Decay eyeshadow palette. My Urban Decay eyeshadow palette in Nocturnal i'll be applying this multicolor shade i told you guys my eyeshadow hakabi if you've not watched my other videos you should go and binge and watch the other videos and see how i mix match my eyeshadows i do mix colors together so that i can get one perfect unique shade unique color now this shade i'm using is a monochrome green and purple with silver and then I mixed some peachy shade on it and all that. Then I'll finish up with topping it with my Luster Cosmetics um, pigment. I'm going to be dropping the name of the pigment down on my description box for you guys to see. So after that, I'm going to be contouring her eyes using a darker color for the outer part of her eyes. That's, I'm using a black eyeshadow then i'll use the transitioning to blend everything into each other and then boom guys you have a picture perfect eyeshadow color for you guys to use so applying the pigment now okay so this pigment is in ariana and i think disco ball I can't remember but i'm going to be dropping the name of the pigment aisha was using the luster cosmetics pigment so can you see how bold the eyes are looking this is what we want to achieve a picture perfect makeup look if you see the thumbnail you will know what i am talking about so we are done with the other eyes the next thing i'm going to be applying mascara I'm taking off the eyeshadow fallout on her lashes and also the pigment fallout on her lashes by doing this you want to apply your mascara first before you apply your eyeliner or your eyelashes so that you get rid of all those fallouts and then boom I am applying the lashes I use the wing eyelashes in wishes this eyelashes is on wishes so i'm going to be making sure that sits well and pretty we want to achieve a very very good and flawless eye makeup look this is a photography makeup look you don't want and this is makeup um you want to okay so let's say you are a makeup artist and you want your photographer to snap a, a and headshot for you you want to make sure you get the skin straight you want to make sure you get the skin straight you want to make sure you get the eye makeup neatly and then yeah that's just about it and i'm going to be applying the eyeliner on her waterline i'm using the zaron eyeliner gel in jazz then boom the eyes are done we are going to be moving on to the lips i'm using a dark brown shade from classic
so moving on to the lips i'm going to be applying a dark brown shade lip i'm going to be leaving all the things i used on the description box so guys you so that you guys will see what i used and then yeah so after i finished lining the outer part of her lips i'm going to be using the shade nude the peachy nude from classic natural nude sorry from classic on the inner part of her lips asking her to keep the lips straight you just you don't want your model to smack her lips is it smack or dab her lips if she dabs it then the makeup will just end up smudging or whatever you want to blend it with your brush as a professional makeup artist you want to blend the lips very well with your brush so the tip for today is whenever you are applying your lipstick you want to make sure you blend that line so what i do is i use a color that is in between two shades and then i'll just blend the in between two colors together <laughs> just to get that flawless lip color so i'm going to be blending that out smoothly and making sure i top it up with a gloss i'm going to be topping it up with a gloss i'll be using the classic lip gloss in peach for the inner part of the lips then the outer part of the lips i'll be using the clear lip gloss so guys i hope you enjoyed this video if you do please subscribe so let's move on you see i'm applying the peachy gloss then i'll top it up with a clear lip gloss on the outer part of the lips so that everything sits and balance well so guys is this makeup a picture perfect makeup if you think it's a picture perfect makeup please send a dm down below like <laughs> sorry please comment down below like share do whatever it is but please watch my videos to the end so after the lips i'm going to be taking off the powder like the setting powder using the finishing powder on the v beauty powder palette I was going to be taking that off smoothly can you see the face is well highlighted like the highlight is there the contours are there you want her canvas to be well perfected because this is a picture perfect makeup you don't this is not something okay you can use this as a wedding guest you can even use it as a bride but we want to achieve a picture perfect makeup look so this is how the photography photography makeup is this is how you do a full photography makeup glam so are you guys enjoying this video so after that i'm just going to be setting our whole face using the kiss beauty setting spray and then boom we are done with the makeup so after the setting spray dries up i'll be using the master chrome highlighter to highlight her whole face like highlight the high points of her face her cheekbones her forehead the tip of her nose her chin and also every other place on her face <laughs> Do you guys enjoy this video please if you do please don't forget to like subscribe share comment do whatever it is you want to do please subscribe to my channel this is hadidi makeovers right here i love you guys so much you guys are the real mvps i'll see you guys on thursday for this turban tutorial bye